diabetics and other immunosuppressive diseases, but also through possibly the immune impurity through the uh, through the oxygen supply. Right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for letting us uh, in on that insight. Uh, I want to ask our next question to Dr. Prasanna Raj because uh, there was a lot of confusion. In fact, there is a lot of confusion on whether plasma therapy is effective in the treatment of COVID or is it not? Because we heard initially it was, so we were going through a lot of initiatives where we were encouraging people to go ahead if they have recovered from COVID, so go ahead and donate their plasmas while now reports come out saying that plasma therapy is little to negligible in the treatment of COVID patients. So if you can just throw some light and clarity on what is this plasma therapy? Is it really effective in uh, treating COVID patients? Are there any side effects for those who have already taken plasma therapy treatment uh, in during their COVID treatment? Yes, Dr. Prasanna Raj. So you're on mute, if you can please unmute. Sorry, sir, you're still on mute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the very interesting question. Uh, the plasma therapy is basically, the philosophy is, a patient who has recovered from COVID infection, in his body, there is adequate antibodies. Earlier, we uh, the uh, principle of plasma therapy was to give the patient who is having an infection during the early stage, maybe early part of second week, to give the plasma therapy. Now, a government of India task force has clearly come out with all the scientific evidence and concluded that now no need of any plasma therapy. The message is very clear with lots of scientific data and expertise that they have found that plasma therapy is of no beneficial uh, to the patient. So therefore, now people should be very clear that we don't have to go for this therapy. Wonderful. I like uh, may, so I, may, I, may I come on, may I come on that? Yeah, sure. Sure, Dr. Kamla. Uh, uh, as Dr. Prasanna said, that is the way the plasma was, uh, uh, convalescent plasma, I call it, convalescent plasma was supposed to work. Now, you look back, uh, go back 14 months, 15 months, into the history of this disease. There were times when people were upbeat about hydroxychloroquine. Yep. They were upbeat about uh, those drugs which we used in, uh, in HIV therapy, and then they, we found them, uh, they were also useful in, um, in uh, swine flu, H1N1 infections. So uh, lopinavir and ritonavir combination, I used that. I used that secure in the first few months because they were the, the therapies which were supposed to do some magic in, in these cases. But hold on, let me just try to come back from the video. Okay. Am I visible on? Okay. In trouble. Am I visible on the video? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Oh. All right, I'll try it later. Uh, so um, th those uh, were the times when people were uh, basing their judgment on the um, on the anecdotal data or uh, non-randomized controlled trials. Not randomized controlled controlled trials are not very large trials, but the, the 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 disease had come to the world so fast, so rapidly in Italy, Spain, UK, USA. China, starting from China and a few countries in, in, in Far East also in the beginning, and uh, that they, whatever was available, they wanted to grab the opportunity and let the trials come later. They wouldn't wait for the trials and let thousands and uh, tens of thousands of people die before some, some data would prove later that that drug was effective. The only drug which proved uh, uh, 
undoubtedly in a randomized controlled trial uh, in Safik KC was uh, corticosteroid, where 36% improvement was uh, observed in mortality. 36% improvement in mortality was a big, big plus. Uh, that was that came up from UK. That was somewhere in I think that came in May last year, May or June last year. And by that time, we were we were already using uh, steroids in a in a big way, and uh, but it was only to reinforce our, our decision to stick to steroids. Probably we just tweak the doses a bit. Now, same way, plasma came into the picture at that time, and you might recall, USA had, was uh, the, the the one which used plasma so extensively uh, last year that uh, lots of other countries took the clue and they were following that uh, practice. And we also, in our hospital, gave plasma to lots of people. Now the point is, when you're giving plasma, you're also giving the patient steroids, you're also giving the patient antibiotics, you're giving uh, probably tocilizumab, you're giving anticoagulants in very sick patients. All of these are being given, and the patient is, of course, being given other supportive treatment. Now, it is not easy to single out the advantage of one over the other in a cocktail uh, 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 of a situation where the patient is so sick. And different patients, it, inherently, their body response to the disease is different. So not every patient would go down. Not every patient would, would, would uh, uh, you know, uh, just make a quick turnaround. So there is a whole gray lot, gray area, which, is, which makes it so difficult in trial situations to prove in a cocktail situation whether right. one drug was really so effective or not. So that is why it, it, this, this question has lingered on uh, for far too long, uh, despite some trials suggesting that uh, plasma did uh, uh, contribute much. But then, you know, you know, if you look at the ICM MR guidelines or the guidelines, the protocols published by All India Institute of Medical Sciences over the last one year, you will see a whole lot of things, drugs coming into the list as recommended and a few months later disappearing from the list. So their protocols have never been uh, stable simply because it has been so difficult to really stick to a, a proven uh, a drug advantage and proven by large multicentric double blind control trials and uh, so it is it is difficult it is tough so i, I you know uh, i know i know the the uh, consensus at the moment may not be in favor of plasma but then it has been used used in in tens of in fact lakhs of patients over the world lakhs of patients mind my my, my figure uh, and it has been used with great hope based on some scientific reasoning only and based on some clinical data earlier on, which has not been substantiated later by uh, larger trials. So that is where we are at the moment. So we, if we understand, so can you just say that plasma may or may not work in the treatment of COVID patients? Yeah, no, I would say so. No. Now it is, uh, uh, you know, the task force which has gone into all the details has now clearly come to the conclusion that we need not go into the plasma therapy. Ron, I totally agree with Dr. Kanwar that earlier uh, we have used on so may, that is where maybe, we if not million lakhs of patients, it has been so used. We, details. Right. Now, as a now commoner, we, we wouldn't the know the exact that reports that came not, out from, but uh, yeah, there were a lot of patients who uh, complained that because plasma was coming from uh, COVID recovered patients, but they still had some uh, ailing diseases that they were anyway going through, whether it is high blood pressure, whether it is diabetes, or whether it is any other such form of uh, you know ailment that the patient was going through. So in that case, how does a COVID patient respond to that plasma? Do they still uh, only take the antibodies of COVID or do they also take in those diseases uh, in some way or the other? How does this transfer work and how does we stop them? Uh, the report uh, went into the details uh, of the plasma use in 
a non hypertensive patient and non diabetic patient and they stratified the whole sample and uh, studied in all these various categories of patient and they came to a very clear conclusion that plasma therapy is no role now so therefore government of india recommendation is stop plasma therapy so when a recommendation has come from the task force it is quite mandatory or quite necessary that all the medical fraternity follows those national guidelines absolutely okay and thank you uh, i've just received a request ke hum thoda hindi mein bhi baat kare taki larger audience hame samajh ha bilkul bilkul baat kariye to main agla sawal aapse puchna chahungi kyunki abhi hum home care ki bhi baat kar rahe hain kafi log to peedit hai hi लाइक जो डॉक्टर्स के पास जा रहे हैं जो हॉस्पिटल्स तक पहुंच पा रहे हैं जिनको बेड मिल पा रहा है पर ऐसे काफी माइल्डर केसेस हैं जो घर पे केयर करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो ऐसे लोगों के लिए होम केयर में हम क्या क्या सुझाव दे पाएंगे उन्हें एक क्या करना बिल्कुल बिल्कुल देखो ये जो बीमारी है ये जो कोविड की बीमारी है यदि हम सौ मरीज को लेते हैं तो करीब अस्सी पिचासी मरीज को बहुत ही कम सिम्टम्स हैं पचास प्रति प्रतिशत लोगों को लेंगे तो कोई सिम्टम भी नहीं है उसको हम बोलते हैं असिम्टोमैटिक बाकी जो हैं वो माइल्ड सिम्टम्स हैं और वो माइल्ड सिम्टम्स क्या क्या हो सकते हैं बुखार हो सकता है खांसी हो सकती है सूखी खांसी बदन में दर्द हो सकता है और कभी कभी दस्त हो सकता है और बहुत ही बहुत ही सिग्निफिकेंट जो है सूंघने की शक्ति कम हो जाती है स्मेल और टेस्ट की जो सेंसेशन है वो वो जाता है इनको हम माइल्ड सिम्टम्स बोलते हैं ये जो भी माइल्ड सिम्टम्स के केसेस हैं और इन लोगों को होम ट्रीटमेंट बहुत ही कॉन्फिडेंस है कर सकते हैं उनको हॉस्पिटल जाने की जरूरत नहीं है हाँ उनको क्या क्या चीज का मॉनिटरिंग करना पड़ेगा नंबर वन उनका ऑक्सीजन सैचुरेशन देखना होगा 95, 94 के नीचे आए तो फिर उसकी चिंता जनक है 94 से ज्यादा हो तो उनको कोई और दूसरी चीज क्या क्या मॉनिटरिंग करनी एक टेम्परेचर मॉनिटरिंग करना है तीसरा पल्स मॉनिटरिंग करना है सौ से ज्यादा पल्स हो तो वो चिंताजनक का है और यदि 100 से ज्यादा पल्स हो और टेम्परेचर हो तो टेम्परेचर से भी पल्स ज्यादा होता है तो टेम्परेचर कम उस कम करने के लिए जो गोली है हम पैरास्टामॉल बोलते हैं या कॉमन लैंग्वेज में डोलो करके बोलते हैं या क्रोसिन बोलते हैं जी तो बीपी भी मेजर करना चाहिए दिन में दो बार बीपी मेजर करना चाहिए एक बहुत ही सिंपल टेस्ट जो कर सकते हैं उसको बोलते हैं सिक्स मिनट्स छ में छ मिनट के लिए वॉकिंग करना और उसका ऑक्सीजन सैचुरेशन छ मिनट के पहले और वॉकिंग करने के बाद यदि इसमें चार परसेंट एब्सोल्यूट डिक्रीज हो तो ये टेस्ट पॉजिटिव माना जाता है इसका मतलब लंग का फंक्शन काफी कॉम्प्रोमाइज्ड uh, है और ये, ये एक इंडिकेशन है कि वो डॉक्टर के पास जाना चाहिए और यदि 60 साल से ज्यादा हैं तो ये छ मिनट के बजाय तीन मिनट का करें पहले ऑक्सीजन सैचुरेशन देखें और तीन मिनट बाय वॉच चाहे घर पे ही हो तो वो रूम में वॉकिंग करें वॉकिंग करने के बाद वापस तीन मिनट के बाद एक टेस्ट करें कि हाँ भाई ऑक्सीजन सैचुरेशन कितना है तो यदि चार परसेंट डिक्रीज हो जाता है एब्सोल्यूटली तो ये टेस्ट पॉजिटिव माना जाता है और ये टेस्ट बताएगा कि हाँ भाई इस मरीज के अंदर फेफड़े की शक्ति थोड़ी कम है और डॉक्टर का केयर की आवश्यकता है राइट बाकी घर में आराम से मेरे को खुद को कोविड हुआ था कोई मेरे घर में सब काफी लोगों को कोविड हुआ है हम घर पे ही आराम से बड़े 
कॉन्फिडेंस से इलाज करवाएं और पेशेंट को घबराना नहीं चाहिए जैसे वो शोले पिक्चर में बोलते हैं ना जो डर गया सो मर गया तो घबराना नहीं चाहिए ये कोई घबराने वाली चीज नहीं है लेकिन सेंसेशनल हो गया आदमी जब हिम्मत का होता है उसकी इम्यूनिटी भी थोड़ी इंक्रीज होती है पॉजिटिव एनर्जी से इम्यूनिटी भी इंक्रीज होती है तो घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है और मॉनिटरिंग करना चाहिए जब तक ऑक्सीजन 94 हो कोई चीज की चिंता ना करें और घर के लिए कुछ दवाइयां हैं मोस्ट प्रूव दवाई जो है आइवर करके एंटीवायरस की बारह मिलीग्राम एक दिन में एक बार लेनी है तीन दिन के लिए लेना है बाकी फ्लावी फ्लू करके है उसका भी वो वो भी एक एंटीवायरल है सो so, उसका पूरा कोर्स लेना चाहिए कि हाँ भाई 1800 मिलीग्राम सवेरे शाम पहले दिन बाकी 800 मिलीग्राम सवेरे शाम छः दिन के लिए टोटल सात दिन का कोर्स है विटामिन सी यूजफुल है विटा जिंक की गोली भी यूजफुल है और कुछ डॉक्टर लोग रिकमेंड करते हैं कि डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन एक एंटीबायोटिक तो ये पांच दिन का घर पे ये ट्रीटमेंट लेना है रेगुलर मॉनिटरिंग करनी है सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज है वो अपना शरीर का हाइड्रेशन मेंटेन करें मतलब जो पानी और साल्ट का जो शरीर के लिए रिक्वायरमेंट है हम इस नहीं तो डिहाइड्रेशन डिहाइड्रेशन के कारण उसको तकलीफ भी हो सकती है तो वो अपना पूरा सॉल्ट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट और जैसे हम बोलते हैं ना इलेक्ट्रोलाइट बैलेंस करना चाहिए जो नारियल का पानी ले सकते हैं जूस ले सकते हैं फ्रेश जूस और ये इन सब चीज़ों से चाहे लस्सी भी ले सकते हैं इन सब चीज़ों से मेंटेन कुछ लोग लस्सी नहीं लेंगे उनके दिमाग में ये होगा कि ये ठंडक है चलो जो भी नारियल का पानी इलेक्ट्रॉल या कोई फ्रूट जूस इससे हाइड्रेशन मेंटेन करें घर पे आइसोलेशन में रहे तो वेल वेंटिलेटेड जगह पे रहे जो पेशेंट का बाथरूम यूज करते हैं वो सिर्फ पेशेंट ही यूज करें दूसरे दूसरे लोग उससे आइसोलेशन में साफ सुथरे रहे घर पे जो भी खाना खाएं तो वो अपनी प्लेट वो ठीक से धोए साबुन से धोने से वायरस खत्म हो जाता है एनी डिटर्जेंट एनी डिटर्जेंट किल्स दी वायरस चाहे विम का सोप हो चाहे लग सोप हो और ये सोप से वायरस की मृत्यु हो जाती है तो सोप का यूज करें साथ साथ सैनिटाइजर का यदि जरूरत है तो यूज करें जब ऑक्सीजन का सैचुरेशन 94 के नीचे हो तुरंत डॉक्टर से ये सलाह करें हो सकता है घर पे ही जैसे डॉक्टर साहब ने बताया कन्वर साहब ने कि ऑक्सीजन कैंसर कॉन्सेंट्रेटर हम घर पे यूज कर सकते हैं तो ऑक्सीजन कैंसर कॉन्सेंट्रेटर जो कैसे यूज करना कितना उसका लेवल यूज करना वो एक डॉक्टर से कम्युनिकेट करके जो हम चाहे घर पे ही रह के भी वो टेली मेडिसिन हम बोलते हैं कि हम भाई डॉक्टर से सलाह लेके इसका एक मॉनिटरिंग करना जी, कोई भी सिम्टम्स में कम कोई भी सिम्टम्स में ज्यादा हो तो वो तुरंत डॉक्टर से बात करें बिल्कुल Uh, जैसे ही आपने ऑक्सीजन की बात की हमारे यहाँ uh, रवि चौहान मधुबनी से कह रहे हैं कि जब ऑक्सीजन लेवल 98 के बाद भी उनका दम घुटना शुरू हो जाता है तो अगर घर से वो मेडिसिन ले के क्या करें नहीं हमने यदि प्रोनिंग हाँ. कोई सिस्टम भी सुना है हमने uh, जो काफी फेमस हो रहा था कि घर पे अगर ऑक्सीजन तुम्हारा कम हो तो प्रोनिंग से आपकी ऑक्सीजन बेटर हो सकती है ऐसा कोई आप हमें क्लैरिटी दे इसमें देखो प्रोन पोजीशन जो हम पेट के ऊपर सोते हैं करके बोलते हैं पर नॉर्मली हम पीठ पे सोते हैं उसको प्रोन पोजीशन को बोलते हैं उसको बोलते हैं सुपाइन पोजीशन और उसका उल्टा है जो पेट पे सोते हैं उसको प्रोन पोजीशन प्रोन पोजीशन में लेटने से हमारा लंग्स को एक्टिविटी ज्यादा बढ़ जाती है उसका ऑक्सीजनेशन ज्यादा हो जाता है तीन से चार ज्यादा हो जाता है तो वो पोजिशन भी जब ऑक्सीजन घट जाए जब सपोज 94 से नीचे आ जाता है तब वो प्रोन पोजीशन लेके प्रोन पोजीशन में रहें तो फिर उसका ऑक्सीजन दो तीन परसेंट इंक्रीज हो जाता है लेकिन जो नॉर्मल है उसके लिए कोई प्रोन पोजीशन की जरूरत नहीं है यदि ये मरीज 98 परसेंट ऑक्सीजन है और उसका धम घुट रहा है तो उसके कारण दूसरे होंगे तो एक मेन कारण ये हो सकता है कि कहीं हार्ट के अंदर कुछ तकलीफ है तो पल्स काउंट करना चाहिए और यदि उसको शरीर में पसीना होता है 
और पल्स ज्यादा है तो ये हार्ट से भी रिलेटेड हो सकता है तो वो डॉक्टर से सलाह करें जी बिल्कुल कोई भी समय में कोई भी चिंता की ये होती है पेशेंट को डॉक्टर से बात करने से हिचकिचाना नहीं चाहिए जिंदगी का सवाल है हो सकता है इट मे बी नथिंग बट डॉक्टर से कंसल्ट करने से उसके जिंदगी के लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि वो सुरक्षित रहे जी बिल्कुल और चिंता खत्म हो जाएगी एक बार डॉक्टर से बात कर ले तो घबराहट में आई थिंक यस सर आई वाज जस्ट कमिंग टू यू हमारे पास अभी अभी एक मैसेज आया है फ्रॉम आर व्यूअर जो कह रहे हैं कि इज देर एनी स्पेसिफिक मेडिसिन दैट वी कैन टेक डेली दिस इज राजेश दाहिया फ्रॉम दुबई ही हैज जस्ट रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम कोविड No, the medicine uh, he has no. to take is N I L. The name of the medicine is N I L. <laughs> There is no need of medicine. Eat well. Eat a diet which contains all the vitamin. That is called as a balanced diet. There is no need of any medicine, and there is no medicine available. All the people claim it can by weakness. के लिए ये लेना वो लेना nothing is required. So the treatment required is N I L. That's nil. All right. Uh, you want me to uh, okay. give my opinion on that? Sure thing. Yes. Look, uh, my views are very clear on these issues. Even last year, and uh, this is based on all the cases we keep seeing all the time through video consults in our OPDs in our uh, wards. Uh, now, don't wait for ninety-four percent. before you call the doctor that will be very clear and i want this to be understood very well okay uh once it comes down to 94 that means your lungs are significantly significantly involved already so you have lost some precious bit of time just make a hum apni disease ko kaise hum tak rok sakte the aur usko badhne se rok rokna bada zaruri hai kyunki kai baar ye disease cause the second वेव में इतनी रैपिडली बढ़ जाती है इट इज नॉट लाइक द फर्स्ट वेव जिसमें कि हम फर्स्ट वीक की बात करते थे सेकंड वीक की बात करते थे कि अब डे सिक्स हो गया डे सेवन हो गया और लंच में चेंजेस आने शुरू हो जाएंगे ऑक्सीजन गिरनी शुरू हो जाएगी नाउ दिस इज दिस म्यूटेंट दिस इज अ डबल म्यूटेंट यू नो दैट इज हिट अस वेरी बैड देयर कुड बी ई ई 8484 क्यू आल्सो there could be l452 r variants also there could be a triple mutant also lekin jo bhi mutants ne is what ever kiya tha mostly double mutant us wo third fourth day pe bhi fifth day tak fourth fifth day tak bhi patients ko hospital mein pahuncha raha tha aur oxygen pe dal raha tha so that is something which we must be very careful about Uh, right. now three things which i always warn all my patients and in fact you know it is almost a protocolized thing in our hospital all the consultants they advise this agar aapke oxygen thodi fluctuate karna shuru ho gaya aur chalne pe oxygen 2 3 4 percent tak drop karna shuru ho gaya chahe wo resting oxygen aapka 96 97 aa raha hai be very vigilant number 1 number 2 agar aapke aapka fever persistent hai ya high grade hai wo niche nahi aa raha this means there is a very strong inflammatory response reaction taking place which simultaneously leads to microvascular coagulation also uh, not too early but a little later that becomes a, another problem number 3 agar patient kahe ki mera dam ghut raha hai main chalne se saans phool raha hai even though his saturation is showing 97% cause what we are measuring is just the oxygen saturation hum koi uska abg ne blood gases nahi kar rahe uska hame carbon dioxide level nahi pata agar patient apne oxygen ko maintain karne ke liye thoda sa hyperventilate kar raha hai to wo oxygen upar kar lega lekin carbon dioxide wash out kar lega because he actually would have been in hypoxia in low oxygen phase lekin wo hyperventilate karke apna body khud hi compensate karne ki koshish kar rahi hai 
सो so, ऐसी सिचुएशन जब होती है तो पेशेंट को चलने से सांस फूल सकता है लेकिन सैचुरेशन फिर भी नॉर्मल हो सकती है सो so, तीन चीजें याद रखें तीन चीजें याद रखें ओके दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग अगर ऑक्सीजन आपकी 95 या 95 से कम आती है या कम नहीं भी आती लेकिन आपको चलने से सांस चढ़ना शुरू हो गया या आपकी ऑक्सीजन चलने फिरने पे तीन चार परसेंट तक ड्रॉप करना शुरू हो गई पांच छह मिनट वॉक वॉक करने पे या आपका फीवर परसिस्टेंट है और हाई ग्रेड फीवर है तो आपके पॉसिबिलिटी काफी ज्यादा है कि आपको कुछ दिनों में एकदम से ऑक्सीजन ड्रॉप कर सकता है आप साइटोकाइन स्ट्रॉन्ग में जा जाने की पॉसिबिलिटी बढ़ जाती है आपकी ये तीन चीजें अगर ख्याल रखें आप बाकी सब कुछ भूल जाए एनोसमिया है स्मेल नहीं आ रही हेड एक हो रही है डायरिया हो रहा है गले में खिच खिच हो रही है खांसी आ रही है दीज आर माइनर इश्यूज दे विल कम बैक दे कैन बी ट्रीटेड इजीली लेकिन जो चीज आपको हॉस्पिटल टाइम टाइमली पहुंचा दे उन तीन चीजों का ये क्या होगा एब्सोल्युटली थैंक यू फॉर दैट क्लेरिफिकेशन डॉक्टर कवर हमारे पास दो तीन और मैसेजेस आए हैं नाउ दीज आर पेशेंट्स हु हैव रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम कोविड एंड वांट टू नो द पोस्ट कोविड रिकवरी प्रिकॉशंस तो राजेश दहिया जी कह रहे हैं कि एनी स्पेसिफिक गाइडलाइन फॉर द पर्सन हु हैज गॉन थ्रू स्टेरॉइड या व्हेदर यू हैव गॉन थ्रू स्टेरॉइड और यू हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू स्टेरॉइड या व्हेन यू से यू हैव गॉन थ्रू स्टेरॉइड दैट मींस योर डिजीज वाज मॉडरेट और मॉडरेटली सीवियर और सीवियर मॉडरेट मॉडरेटली सीवियर और सीवियर इसी सिचुएशन में आप स्टेरॉइड लिए होंगे राइट अगर आपको मॉडरेट नहीं भी लेबल किया आप माइल्ड भी रहे एपरेंटली लेकिन आपको अब माइल्ड और मॉडरेट कहने में मोस्टली हम या तो सीटी स्कैन की बात करते हैं कि ओ सीटी स्कोर इज गॉन बियॉन्ड एट सो इट इज मॉडरेट और यू से ऑक्सीजन हैज फॉलन बिलो 95 इट इज बिकमिंग मॉडरेट सो ये अगर ना भी हो फीवर आपका हफ्ता दस दिन दो हफ्ते तक चला गया तब भी आपको कुछ प्रिकॉशंस हैं जो हमेशा के लिए याद रखिए और कुछ हफ्तों के लिए उसको फॉलो करिए ड्यूरिंग द इलनेस एंड इमीडिएटली पोस्ट इलनेस आप पानी खूब पिए तीन तीन चार लीटर पानी 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 या लिक्विड किसी भी फॉर्म में लिक्विड चाहे पानी है कोकोनट वाटर है इज इट टी कॉफी मिल्क जूस सूप इवन पेप्सी कोक एक्सेप्ट अल्कोहल आप सब कुछ ले सकते हैं और ज्यादा मात्रा में लेना है और पोस्ट आप रिकवर भी कर गए उसके बाद भी आप एक महीना ये प्रैक्टिस आप जारी रखिए उसका रीजन ये है तभी हम एलिकुस या रोविट्स बैन भी देते हैं ताकि बिचार एंटी कोग्रेंट और कई केसेस में हम सिंपल एस्प्रिन देते हैं कईयों में दोनों दे देते हैं फिर फिर हम एंटी uh, कोग्लेंट को बंद कर देते हैं और और इको स्प्रिन और एस्प्रिन को दो तीन हफ्ते और जारी रखते हैं पर्पस एक ही है क्योंकि इस बीमारी में दो मेजर चीजें होती हैं एक होती है इन्फ्लेमेशन जो कि सारी बॉडी में इन्फ्लेमेशन हो जाती है आपको लंग्स में दिखती है सीटी स्कैन करके लिवर एंजाइम्स अक्सर बड़े होते हैं ज्यादा हो जाते हैं इन केसेस में किडनी पे इफेक्ट होने का डर रहता है सी हार्ट पे हार्ट की आप अब अभी पीछे आप बात कर रहे थे डॉक्टर प्रसन्ना उसका जवाब दे रहे थे हार्ट रेट का हार्ट रेट ऊपर नीचे हो सकता है खासकर अगर ज्यादा वाइट वाइट फ्लक्चुएशन हो या परसिस्टेंट टैके का दिया हार्ट रेट परसिस्टेंट ज्यादा रह रहा हो तो वो हार्ट के मसल की इंफ्लेमेशन हो जाती है तो ये एक तो इन्फ्लेमेटरी फेज होता है साथ ही साथ जैसे जैसे इन्फ्लेमेशन हो रही है ये डिजीज हाइपर कोबिलिटी की वजह से माइक्रोवास्कर ब्लॉकेजेस कर छोटी छोटी जो हमारी ब्लड वेसल्स हैं आर्टरीज हैं उसको ब्लॉक करना शुरू कर देती है सारे बॉडी में इसी वजह से कई तरह के ऐसे सिम्टम्स हैं जो अभी तक एक्सप्लेन नहीं किए जा सके कि ये सिम्टम हो क्यों रहे अब वीकनेस है कई पेशेंट्स हैं छह छह महीने तक वीकनेस रह रही है इंटरनेशनल लिटरेचर इन चीज न्यूज से भरा पड़ा है वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दैट किस तरह की उसमें लो ग्रेड साइटोकाइन स्ट्रॉम चलता ही जा रहा है चलता ही जा रहा है इट कैनोट बी साइटोकाइन स्ट्रॉम But there is a logic says, a scientific logic says कि कुछ ना कुछ inflammatory reaction होता चला जा रहा है। अगर होता चला जा रहा है, तो इसका मतलब increased coagulability का risk 
चलता जाना जा रहा है जरूरी नहीं है कि जो हम डी डायमर टेस्ट करते हैं वो हमारा पॉजिटिव आए तभी हमने ट्रीट करना है दैट वुड बी स्टूपिड थॉट क्योंकि हाइपरकोगिलिटी हैज बिन प्रूव और जो आउट ऑफ चीज हुई है उसमें इंफ्लेमेशन और हाइक ऐसा लगता था उन, उनको उन पेशेंट्स में कि सारी ब्लड वेसल्स में क्लॉट्स फंस गए सो दैट इज ए मेजर रिस्क फैक्टर तो जो आपने सवाल पूछा कि हमें बाद में कुछ करना चाहिए हाँ जी आप पानी खूब पीजिए और आपका डॉक्टर अगर आपको दो तीन हफ्ते चार हफ्ते के लिए एंटीक्रोगलेंट या आ, या एंटी प्लेटलेट एस्प्रिन टाइप दवाई रिकमेंड कर रहा है तो जरूर लीजिए और अगर ज्यादा सुवियर डिजीज हो गया भी है तो कई बार हम छह हफ्ते तक एंटीक्रोगलेंट देते हैं राइट डॉक्टर कावर वाइल यू आर आंसरिंग दिस हमारे एक और व्यूअर हैं शिव भार्गवा फ्रॉम फरीदाबाद जो दस दिन पहले ही रिकवर हुए वो कह रहे हैं कि आई एम फीलिंग अ वियर्ड स्मेल इन माय स्वेट इज दिस नॉर्मल योर फीलिंग मींस योर स्मेलिंग सो देयर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग विद योर टेस्ट द सेंस ऑफ स्मेल कई लोगों को कैरोसिन जैसी स्मेल आती है उनको ऐसा लगता है कि देर इज सम कैरोसिन नियर बाय होता नहीं है लेकिन लगता है उनको और विच इज वेरी कॉमन अगर कई बार हम पूछते हैं पेशेंट को तो कहते हैं हाँ हाँ ऐसा होता है सो दिस ये जो वियर्ड सी स्मेल है इट कुड बी एनी थिंग इंक्लूडिंग समथिंग रिजेंबलिंग बिट ऑफ कैरोसिन स्मेल वो आपके स्वेट में प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आपके स्मेल में प्रॉब्लम सो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर कावर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर प्रसन्ना आपके लिए आया है फ्रॉम सचिन साइनी वो कह रहे हैं विच इज द बेस्ट मेडिसिन वी आर कंफ्यूज क्योंकि अभी तो मिल ही नहीं रही कहीं सम ऑफ द मेडिसिन डॉक्टर्स आर प्रिस्क्राइबिंग और वट आर कॉमनली बींग पास्ड ऑन रेमदेव सिर और एनी ऑफ दोज डिफरेंट वायल्स सम ऑफ देम आर नॉट इन स्टॉक सम ऑफ देम आर गेटिंग ब्लैक मार्केटेड or it is being hoarded so people are very confused if you can throw some light on that see the government of uh, india has made uh, the availability of the drug ramdeswar by sub, if the patient is uh, having a prescription uh, ramdeswar has to be given injectable only in a let us say a hospital setup so the request has to go from the hospital in a prescribed pharma to the uh, concerned uh, district uh, drug controller and the drug controller in turn recommends to buy uh, from uh, specified drug stores here it is sold at the mrp that is the uh, you know there is no uh, extra money to be given when you are this particular system has been brought to bring down the uh, people who are black marketing and holding the drugs and doing unethical practices so this is regarding the ramdeswar and there is some antibiotic also there is one anti special drug when we use it for during the cytochrome uh, tocilizumab so that is also through the uh, uh, drug controllers this thing now uh, we have got because of the fungus infection there was a drug uh, there is a drug called as amphotericin b now this drug was uh, not at all in use uh, too much but now with the fungus infection coming up uh, this drug has gone out of stock and there is a great demand now the both uh, uh, the up state and the delhi state government has come out with the guidelines they have formed a committee with the hospital doctors recommending they want to give it to the doctor to the hospital directly Absolutely. and they are trying to bring down the uh, you know the black market right while we may i may i extend yeah. this uh, uh, yeah yeah please somebody please 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 this uh, calamity but apart from that there are other drugs for it uh, uh i'm in a zoom uh, can call after 15 to 20 minutes please okay. 
Okay. So, uh, uh, besides when, when the patient is uh, sick with us, we give uh, steroids, of course, depending on what dose is required. Number two, the second most important drug for him is anticoagulant. And the third important drug could be, uh, of course, besides oxygen, it is to say, we consider certain drugs in, in them like baricitinib, tofacitinib, which are JAK inhibitors. Then we there is a, another new drug, bevacizumab. So it comes, uh, it, we give it over 90 minute infusion. Then there is there are new uh, monoclonal antibody combination, which is uh, coming uh, through Zydus Kedla. It should be available very time, anytime soon, uh, I think in the near future. So uh, tocilizumab we gave last year uh, in hundreds of cases, but with a very variable sort of uh, uh, result. So we are not very enthusiastic about uh, tocilizumab anymore. Uh, Actemrite used to come uh, uh, marketed as Actemrite. So uh, these are uh, the drugs which we use, but we use them very judiciously. And you know, three, four, five days ago, this 2DG drug, which was uh, uh, being uh, uh, supported by the government of India on the television, well, how much will 2DG work in patients? It is not yet easily available, not yet available actually. So only one of my patients is getting it, got it through Hyderabad, Dr. Reddy's lab. So patient is better, but then patient was getting a lot of other things. So there are a lot of cocktail of drugs. We can pick and choose depending on the patient's condition. But if you ask me, what is the best drug? Steroid. Wow, thank you, uh, Dr. Prasanna. I think the right time you said it, uh, we lost connection with Dr. Kaur, but yeah, I'm sure yeah, he'll be yeah, right back the, with us. The food uh, effect of steroid is globally accepted. Right. While uh, we want to, uh, you know, believe everything that you experts are telling us, the social media story and the real life story turns out to be quite different. Because we have requests for people. Okay. We, can, we can see his face now, handsome face of Dr. Kanwar. Absolutely. Um, so I want to ask uh, Dr. Kanwar again to you this time because uh, um, black fungus, I don't know the medical terminology for it, but this common name which is black fungus and white fungus. We have to know what this is. And what is this question from Sumit Saini Ji, who is from Old Delhi, Sardar Bazaar, Sardar Bazaar. Okay, right. Can this also affect people who are not taking oxygen? If you can throw some light. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, sure. So I'm asking, uh, while we just touched upon the new, uh, you know, fungus that has come out, which is commonly known as black fungus and white fungus. So all of us want to know more about it. What is it? How do we get affected? And uh, Sumit Saini from Old Delhi Sadar Bazaar is asking, can this also affect people who are not taking oxygen? No, I don't think so. And uh, uh, that people who are not taking oxygen, first of all. Unfortunately, we are losing connection. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, we got it. Yeah. Le better he okay. switch off the audio. Oh, right. so, some problem happening with my audio and video. Anyway, uh, yeah. no, again. Sir, can you off the second. video? Can you off the video? We lost your voice, sir. Yeah, you can off the okay. video. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't do it. It automatically started. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No. Uh, all right. Can I, can I answer that? Yes. Uh, those who are not on oxygen, first of all, they are not uh, sick enough. They are not even morbid. Uh, they probably have mild disease, and uh, they are not likely to have. Uh, why, why should they have black fungus? Unless there is uh, some other funny reason uh, of uh, you know black fungus being in the air. Uh, no, uh, no. People who have developed uh, uh, mucormycosis are the ones who were on high flow oxygen, who were on uh, high dose of steroids 
who had other comorbidities like diabetes, tubules were going haywire, and they were not just for a few days, there were prolonged cases on these things. They are the ones who developed uh, secondary uh, infections like, uh, like mucormycosis. But then, there have been very funny things. This is a point of debate among us. Why should uh, the, uh, mucormycosis not have affected people last year? Very rare case. And this year, I mean, uh, the second uh, wave, the, the current mu mutant is leading to so many cases. There are already about 9,000 cases reported in India of, uh, of mucormycosis. So this right. is something which uh, is a point of, is another full one-hour debate. Wow. But so just to clarify our viewers' doubts, black fungus, white fungus are not airborne diseases, cannot be infected unless you are hospitalized or in a, a severe to high severe, if I may say so, condition. Yeah. Uh, see, they're not ubiquitous. So um, it has to be have uh, a, a setting, and that setting I explained to you, for uh, mucormycosis. Regarding the white fungus, you know, this white fungus, I don't know where, where the word has come from. This is simple candida. Simple candida is, is, uh, is uh, uh, white fungus. There is another species, one of the species of aspergillus, which also looks white. And uh, some, some people can talk about white fungus there also. But then uh, most of these cases were on antibiotics, on, on, on steroids and uh, sick and immunocompromised, they develop candida as a very common secondary infection. You open their mouths and see the white patches over there. You do bronchoscopy, we see lungs filled with white patches all over. So this, this, is, this is okay and it's very easy to treat, very easy to treat. Something very innocuous, very simple, very a cheap drug like fluconazole can treat that if, if, if it becomes more invasive, then we give uh, echinocandins, another family of drugs, but they, they, it responds very well. Very well. Chan leva fungus nahi hai. Just no. Sab ghabra rahe waisa nahi. No. I mean, it should be diagnosed and treated. That's all. Absolutely. Uh, so, another question we've got uh, from Sunil Tiwari, Pashtim Vihar se. Uh, he's saying, sir, the diabetic level is gone high after the treatment. How to what to use probably to keep safe on this side well, towards the diabetic, I'm guessing. That's what his question is. Oh, it, it's a very common thing. That to, uh, uh, first of all, COVID itself would, would raise, it causes uh, uh, glucose intolerance, so sugar levels would go up. But with steroids, it goes up exponentially at times, very mm -hmm. rapidly. So, uh, well, simply, if when the steroids are required, they are required to save your lungs, to save your life. But during that period, keep a monitor on, on your blood sugar level and keep treating that. We, in the hospitalized patients, we yeah. usually keep them on insulin sliding scale uh, because the, the glucose levels are quite fluctuant. So sliding scale is, is easier in, the, in those cases. And once the, the uh, disease comes under control and the, uh, the, the steroid level comes down, the sugar level will automatically close. Patients who think, oh my God, I've become a diabetic, they will automatically find a, a, a few weeks later, two, three, four weeks later, that the sugar level is normal. Right. This is a common thing, very, very common thing, and a very good question because this is the, the commonest thing people ex experience. Absolutely. So, if you are sugar levels, you are in treatment, you are in the Take care of your diet, take care of yourself, take the medicines prescribed by doctors or sugar levels dhe dhe dhe, wapis normalize ho jayenge. That's what our experts are saying here. Thank you so much, Dr. Kavar. Um, Dr. Prasanna Prem Kumar ne ye sawal pucha hai. Uh, ye keh rahe, my son-in-law had COVID and it's been almost six weeks now. He had a lot of persistent cough and still has some cough even now. If you can advise, what can we do? Probably there is a need for complete uh, investigation for this uh, respiratory system. Uh, maybe uh, the during the six weeks, uh, if uh, uh, the chest X-ray or the CT has been done, maybe uh, now once again it should be repeated uh, and uh, 
some amount of uh, residual disease if it is persistent or maybe it may have a secondary bacterial infection yes. so this this needs to be uh, you know investigated and better go to the treating doctor right huh? and get it because uh, a cough for 6 weeks uh, has to be uh, you know taken little uh, carefully and then little right so dhyan rakhe apne yeah 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 Because see, he has he has started the COVID. Doctor, yes, doctors, doctor, yeah. doctor, Prasanna, pulmonary question. This is not fair. I am I am only a moderator here taking questions yeah, yeah, from yeah. our viewers. Yeah. So. <laughs> But uh, you know there is a very pertinent uh, question, or rather concern of the larger uh, population and larger audience, which I am yet to ask the two of you, which is about vaccination. Okay. and there is so much helluva around vaccination there are three kinds that we at least commoners know about and there are so many confusions on which one is how effective and what are the side effects of it should we take it should we not take it what is going on with vaccination so if uh, you know dr prasanna you may start and we can come yeah. to dr kamar as well basically if you look at uh, there are Uh, in whole of the world there are about nearly 200 vaccines different vaccines but disease is one that is covid right. first time globally for any given disease so many vaccines have been produced in the shortest period normally a vaccine cycle is a 10 year cycle but right. in this case we could develop the vaccine because the covid virus is from the same family as the influenza virus so we could develop this vaccine and because there was a need for the vaccine and the time was very short there may be a little uh, when you do something in a hurry we may miss some steps that's why there is a fluctuating level of the efficacy among all the vaccine there are some people who have got vaccine and then again got infected right so that doesn't mean that the vaccine is not useful you can't have everything 100% there may be some protection but vaccine definitely gives some protection it reduces some of the severity of the disease so whatever may be the sensational news that after vaccine people have got again infection with vaccine people have died that may be a small number so yes. we have to continue in our mind we should be very clear we must continue to take vaccine where it is required now question is which vaccine to be taken now literature and the you know the vaccines are produced by different platform the co vaccine has used the actual virus and that virus has been killed and on that platform this vaccine has been developed so co vaccine natural it mimics the natural infection so it gives a immunity which is quite mimicking the natural immunity the gap between the two dose of the co vaccine has to be one month coming right. to the co co shield vaccine this is on a different platform it may not be equal to this but it is comparable the protection level is significantly high with co v shield also but the gap between the two doses now the government of india has told must be 3 month 12 weeks to 18 weeks because if you give the leave the gap between the two dose the first dose acts as a memory thing for the immunity so when you give after a specific period mm-hmm. it's the immune response is better yeah. as far as covid shield is there make sure it is second dose should be after 3 months right right now these two vaccines now another third vaccine sputnik is going to come in the field it also has an effectivity claim to be about 79% so right. 
which seems to be higher than the two that we talk about pardon which seems to be higher than the two that we know of no no, no no it is That's not higher it sputnik is lower than the other two all right okay but whatever it may be in stuff see what is available and all the three are giving proved protection a little variation in their efficacy is there so if uh, uh, the choice is there the first comes the covaxin the second comes the covishield the third comes the sputnik so sir i want to ask you this follow up question that why isn't covaxin in the list of vaccines approved by who in case you want to uh, travel abroad yeah see who has its own guidelines of approving probably there is a need for enough evidence which i'm sure the manufacturers would be in a future would be able to uh, produce to the who because they have some guidelines to uh, before they before they uh, make it uh, fit for patients who can take this vaccine and travel there are many many countries many vaccines yet the who has not given clearance but people are taking now the issue is one is international travel another issue is protection first i have to have protection for my body i may not be allowed to travel internationally survival is more important than looking at that is secondary right and i am sure with the experience of the evidence of the uh, trials that are going to uh, results that are going to come out this problem will be solved we all have our hopes high on that no no uh, definitely definitely dr cover uh, you'd like to add on to the vaccine uh, well, craze or the confusion this three is right this three don't be surprised uh, if uh, you also get pfizers and moderna's because uh, the government of india they uh, want something that has happened uh, in the last few weeks on why the vaccines are broad when uh, the, the, the there were not enough vaccines for the for your own country man so that right. was a huge issue i uh, rightly mm-hmm. so and uh, so they are now in a kind of asking even the states to take uh, the decision to import uh, at state level so they have you know it's it's kind of a situation where the states can negotiate uh, with the manufacturers abroad and uh, probably jj jj may also come into the frame so there could be five or six vaccines uh, in the near future in fact if you look at the calendar uh, the vaccine production in india is going to be massive on september onwards and there is actually going to be a vaccine glut by the end of the year and uh, so you will have uh, choices mujhe hara rang ke shirt pehniye mujhe peele rang ke shirt pehniye mujhe black rang ke shirt pehniye kis mein smart lagta hu wo wo pe mujhe karna so is tarah ke kaam shuru ho jayenge you just wait and watch which we all are getting more uh, you know uh, spoiled by choice as we keep saying in terms of fashion and now it may become in vaccination ke hamare paas jab choices bahut zyada hongi to agar aapki expert rai mein aisi kaun si cheeze hame vaccination mein dekhni chahiye which are more effective than the others so that we make ab aap fashion ki baat karte hain to let me tell you my patients are already asking doc is pfizer not better should i wait for pfizer's uh, vaccine because it's going to come to india and uh, or uh, moderna so they think the rna vaccines which are both uh, uh, pfizer and moderna's they certainly seem to have on the data that we have at the moment uh, their efficacy might be in excess of 90% 95% 93% but these efficacy figures of 90% 79% jo pehle डॉक्टर उन्होंने एनरोल करके पेशेंट्स के ऊपर देखना था वो तीन तीन महीने में खत्म कर दिए गए अभी आपको तो पता ही नहीं चला की अभी एक साल में क्या होना था या डेढ़ साल में पेशेंट को 
रिस्पॉन्स था वो तो आपने देखा ही नहीं कुछ भी नहीं देखा तो ये पचासी परसेंट पचहत्तर तिहत्तर नब्बे पचानवे परसेंट इट इज जस्ट ए फिगर रिटर्न ऑन द पेपर ये ये it could be yeah 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 it could be way off the top right now with the yeah. mutation yeah. with the mutation because emergency 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 use authorization lene ke liye ye numbers prove karna unke liye zaruri tha nahi to emergency use authorization nahi milti vaccines ko khas kar vaccines ko drugs ko life saving drugs ko mil jati vaccines ko nahi milti wo li hai inhone for showing these these numbers and ye doctor saab jo keh rahe hain mutations are ye surveillance genetic surveillance uh, jo hai continuously karni padegi aapko har waqt karni padegi continuously sequencing karni padegi ye dekhne ke liye ki virus kidhar ja raha hai jin jin galiyon mein virus ghus raha hai us galiyon mein aapko jana padega aur vaccine ki tweak yes the vaccines can be tweaked uh, to cover for those things which the virus is taking uh, doing if virus is checking uh, of uh, its uh, spike protein ya iske dna mein jo changes aa rahi hai wo aapko padhna padega sequencing karni padegi surveillance karke fir aapko wo changes vaccine mein lani padengi lekin remember vaccine hamesha aage uh, uh, virus hamesha aage rahega hum uske karenge pata hai hum uske uske piche kar sakte hain hum virus ke aage जाके रोक नहीं सकते एंड रिमेम्बर वन मोर थिंग ये जब एक पेंडेमिक जाएगा भी जब जाता भी है ये अपनी डेथ खुद मरता है इट विल डाई इट्स ओन डेथ बिकॉज इट विल मेक दो म्यूटेशन विच आर नॉट गोइंग टू सर्वाइव आर दे आर नॉट ट्रांसमिसेबल और हाईली ट्रांसमिसेबल एंड दे आर ऑल्सो नॉट वेरुलेंट इनफ तो वो अपनी मौत खुद मरेगा आप उसके आगे भाग के जाके उसको पकड़ के उसको खत्म नहीं कर सकते रिमेंबर इट इज सो ये जो वेव्स आती हैं वेव्स जाती हैं हम सोचते हैं कि हमने लॉकडाउन कर दिया और हमने सब इस वजह से वेव नीचे आ गई नो इट हैड टू हैपन बट लॉकडाउन ने उसको इट इज हेसन द प्रोसेस राइट डॉक्टर प्रसन्न प्रसन्ना एंड डॉक्टर कंवर ये दो क्वेश्चन मैं आप दोनों से पूछना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि वैक्सीनेशन भी एक बेसिक uh, काम कर रहा है हमारी इम्यूनिटी बूस्ट कर रहा है टू फाइट द वायरस लाइक वी फाइट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर वायरस दैट आर देयर इन आर एनवायरमेंट द बैक्टीरिया दैट आर इन द एनवायरमेंट तो क्या हमारी बॉडी इतनी शक्तिशाली है कि इनकेस हमने क्योंकि अभी हमारे पास वैक्सीनेशन uh, के uh, यू नो डोजेस अवेलेबल नहीं है बहुत टाइम लग रहा है स्केड्यूलिंग में एक्सेट्रा तो क्या हमारी बॉडी इतनी शक्तिशाली है कि हम खुद हमारी इम्यूनिटी के साथ इस वायरस से लड़ सके इज दैट अ पॉसिबिलिटी बॉडी के अंदर हर एक बॉडी में और एक कुदरती चीज है कि बॉडी कोई भी चीज बॉडी बॉडी शरीर के लिए आता है फाइट करते हम सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग बड़े नियम पूर्वक इसको पालन करें उसका कोई सब्सटीट्यूट नहीं है यदि आप मौत से दूर रहना चाहते हो तो सोशल डिस्टेंस भी रखिए हर इंसान को समझे कि हाँ भाई वो वायरस ट्रांसमिट करेगा वायरस शरीर के आदमी के शरीर के अंदर से ही वो सोर्स ऑफ द इंफेक्शन है उसके ऊपर लिखा नहीं है कि हाँ भाई मैं कोविड वायरस लेके चल रहा हूं सो इट हैज टू बी इट हैज टू बी थिंक एवरी पर्सन इज पोटेंशियल एंड प्लीज प्रोटेक्ट पर्सनल प्रोटेक्शन मास्क दो हाथ मुंह धोना है कभी भी टॉयलेट में कोई कारण टॉयलेट में जाते हो तो एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है आप साबुन से मुंह भी धोइए ये वायरस सिर्फ तीन गेट से अंदर जाएगा ये तीन गेट का नाम है मेन एम ई एन मेन एम है माउथ ई है आईज एन है नोज तो जब भी टॉयलेट भी जाते हैं तो इसको साबुन से धो दीजिए यदि वायरस यहाँ सपड़ा हुआ है वो नीचे नहीं जाएगा वो यहाँ आएगा तो भी चार घंटा उसको चाहिए मल्टीप्लाई होने के लिए 
तो ये बहुत ही सुरक्षित सिंपल स्टेप है राइट तो मेन का ध्यान रखे मेन से ये मेन से दूर नहीं रह सकते हैं <laughs> no, no, I'm just trying to make the conversation a little lighter. But, uh, yeah, uh, I, I would just want to convey to all our viewers that if you have mild symptoms, then so please, first of all, keep your inner power. Keep yourself positive. Your body is made in a way to fight naturally to all the viruses and bacteria that are in our environment, and Corona is just one of them. But yes. If you have any pertinent and uh, persisting symptoms, then please, uh, you know, do take advice of your doctor. So, uh, Doctor Kamar, I would like to ask uh, you as well. We just touched upon mask. So, हमारे पास एक question आया है about mask. Uh, we also have a lot of questions that are vaccine related. So, I think I'll go with that first and go to mask later. एक हमारे पास सवाल आया है from सुधीर महिंद्रा हरियाणा से वो कह रहे हैं माय मदर हैड सीवियर फीवर फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी डेज पोस्ट वैक्सीनेशन इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ द फीयर शी केप्ट ऑन डिनाइंग सो हाउ कैन वी क्लैरिफाई हिज थॉट्स हियर वाज दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेड वाज दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नो पीपल फील दैट इट इज अ फीयर इट इज द थर्मामीटर विच हैज टू से Objectively, whether there was a temperature rise, it may be a coincidence that patient might have had other infection. But vaccine, as such, causing 20 days of continuous fever after giving a trial of lakhs of people has not been observed. The person, his fever has to be investigated. Right. So I hope that answers your question, Sudhir. um we have another question the name has been changed it's a female uh, from agra she says that after multiple efforts i have finally got the date to get vaccine uh, but she is on her menstrual cycle so can i still go for vaccine i am confused yes simple answer is yes quick answer yes next next question perfect all right be positive be positive on the vaccine right let the child be also protected so we have another question from abhishek uh, singhvi he says my fa- father was vaccinated both the doses around 6 months back covid shield was the vaccine when trials was going on what is the gap that he needs to give for the next vaccination and is it even required no if well, he has chances- taken the two doses if he has taken the two doses now he should not there is there is no recommendation for the third dose but to know whether this vaccine has given him protection a antibody see vaccine's main role is to raise the antibodies so the antibody titer can be test can be done and that will say whether the protective levels has reached due to some reason if the optimum protective levels are not reached then there should be a 3 months to 18 months gap after the second dose in case the antibody titer has not reached right dr cover you were adding something to it uh well i was uh, thinking differently anyway uh, uh yeah i was thinking that if he has had two doses it is likely that his uh, protection would last at least 6 to 9 months at least it could be a year if he is lucky it could be even longer so we don't even know at this time actually how much time the covid shield because itna time abhi hua hi nahi ki kitni der tak iski immunity lost karenge so hmm. igg level as dr prasanna said is one way looking at the response uh, but igg igg levels they tend to go down after month down and uh, in some cases it goes down faster in some cases it may linger on and uh, go on uh, you know gone uh, dropping gradually uh, much more slowly than the other group uh, even after 6 to 8 months so the significant levels now probably it is expected that this 
these vaccines may be only basis like it give so uh, that means the scientists at the moment all the vaccine makers at the moment they feel that the immunity probably would last just for a year so that's why the need for repeating the vaccine every year so ye production jo hai ki jitni bhi production hogi ye sab khapat ho jayegi <laughs> तो अभी के लिए अगर आपके दो डोजेस हो चुके हैं तो फिलहाल शांति से बैठे अपना और अपने परिवार का ध्यान रखें वेट फॉर द राइट इंफॉर्मेशन टू कम फॉरवर्ड इन केस यू नीड टू गेट वैक्सीनेटेड अगेन सर आई एम गोना जस्ट क्विकली आस्क फ्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आई लाइक यू टू ब्रीफली आंसर दम हमने ऑलरेडी एक घंटा आप दोनों से one hour which we have already uh, spoken about about still 30 minutes on uh, all right so do we have a few quick questions because Aye. my patients are waiting 30, so 30 minutes 30 minutes is one, one dose 30 minutes is another another 30 minutes is second dose <laughs> <laughs> so you means 30 minutes each one so uh, <laughs> Uh, okay quick, quick questions quick, no? uh, so the like, quick uh, notes from both of you in terms oh, of yeah, care yeah. for under 18 uh you know the kids the teenagers uh they are not to be vaccinated see, let the under 18 see in the kids it is a very mild infection and it is giving uh, full protection under 18 let them not bother at this time regarding the vaccine right because you know the most first let us finish with the people who are above 45 but is there and any course, that needs to ah, be taken uh, are they immune to it what can yeah, yeah, not immune to them their body immunity is much better okay perfect See, that answers ah, that question right right so and, and also the also the trials the trials on uh, under 18 um the 15 to 18 years or 12 to 15 years age group have have started uh, by some companies so uh, first of all they will do the trial prove that you can see and also the fact that they, they are not causing adverse reactions uh, okay. and it, it the tolerance level is good then they will in children also absolutely now uh, for mask care because we are seeing that the protocol for mask is also kind of changing we are talking about double mask uh you know there are n95s cloth mask initially we were told that cloth mask is also all right so how do you take care of an n95 mask and are cloth mask at all uh you know safe See, anymore first of all the okay. problem with the mask sir shall i finish it one minute sir uh the mask has to be changed see people are as if you know for uh, uh, life you know the whole the months together they wear the same mask the mask has to be you have to keep at least uh, four mask if you want to reuse it the first one has to be washed put uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday or 1 2 3 4 <laughs> and you have a serial use so that the mask which was used four days back has to be used right and it should be washed with ordinary soap if it is there they are use the best thing is the surgical mask which is there is very cheap maybe 10 rupees or something they should make sure that they use and throw the best is n95 and n95 all right uh yes dr kavar all right n95 masks are actually uh, uh, meant for hospital staff for the doctors and nurses uh, only uh, because uh, they are they are not supposed to be just be uh, they are they are not in that big a production that people in general will be using that and uh, though they are more protective uh, now coming to masks in general you are cloth mask or gamcha this kind of things you see if you are wearing something very loose you air when you are creating a negative pressure by inhaling you the negative pressure will suck in the air it would suck in the air not through the through the uh, the the mask the easy entry would be where there is no resistance from the sides so if the mask is not snugly fitting 
and you are not able to create a by inhaling a negative pressure. A negative pressure would actually suck in the mask. It is a test that your mask is good, nicely fitted. So if you don't have that, what would you have with gum, gumchas and uh, with the bandanas? This is rubbish. I mean, you see those things on the TV and you just laugh it off, you know. What are people trying to demonstrate to the rest of the country? You know, people should understand what they're doing before, you know, becoming, uh, you know, lecturer on big platforms. So okay. <laughs> it's important to understand that the mask should be snugly fitting here, even if it is a simple cloth mask. If the cloth is uh, well meshed, well meshed okay. and thicker, that would do the job fairly well, fairly well. But surgical mask is better. And double mask, we advise only when an environment with a lot of people. You're going into shopping area, you're going into a place, into a restaurant, or into a place where your, your likelihood of getting infected is higher. Then you can use a mask over the other mask. But both of the, both the masks should have a snugly fitting, uh, you know, they should be snugly fitting, in the, and especially the area where the leakage is, is here or here. So it okay. should be well, well, well done. Another thing that, oh yeah, another thing, people ask me this question, should the mask be cotton mask or could it be a silken mask also? You know, fashion, fashion statement people have to make and you know the kind of masks that are available, matching now, the shirt, matching yes. your, um, yeah, so lots of things. Maybe even matching your earrings also. So <clears throat> even silken masks, by strat creating static electricity, they also have a role. They can also work. Not that they, they don't work, they work, but they should be snugly fitting. That's the, that's the important message. Right. And I would definitely like to just reiterate to all our audience that uh, double mask, like our experts have uh, just advised, only and only required when you're going to a crowded place, market, exposure because we had a lot of viewers who had asthmatic reactions and had respiratory problems hone lagi thi because in the uh, mass media, we were showing that we have to double mask. So we were in that confusion. So thank you for giving us that clarity. Yeah. Uh, a point that you just mentioned, that we have to go to the mass. Sometimes, if you go to the mass, Mask tight pen actually we have to sans chata. You know, can I advise karta ma could be kya karta? If there are no nobody around, if there are no people around, I just lift the mask a little, take a few breaths, take a few breaths, and then go back. That helps. Right. Thank you so much to both of you, uh, Dr. Prasanna Raj and Dr. Kavar for really clearing out so many of our confusions or hamare sare darshako ke sawal ke jawab dene ke liye bahut bahut shukriya for taking out the time and doing this with event tv live on let's heal our india thank you so much from all of us at our team most welcome thank you thank, thank you. you thank you so much and to all our viewers uh, stay tuned to event tv live facebook page hum har roz har hafte कई सारे ऐसे इनिशिएटिव्स और एक्सपर्ट्स लेकर आ रहे हैं इस शो के द्वारा जानकारी मिले और अपने आप का ख्याल रखने के लिए और कुछ सुझाव मिले सो थैंक यू सो मच दिस इज ख्याति कावा योर होस्ट साइनिंग ऑफ हैव अ वेरी गुड डे एवरीवन स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी